Dr. Nyampinga, how do you feel about your award? I feel over the moon. I'm in cloud nine. I'm so happy. I am really, really happy. I don't know how to express myself. I really appreciate. So did everyone. you know that you were going to actually get the award? I wasn't sure. I thought I was coming for an international uh, leadership program. I never thought I would get a, an award for it because I didn't know that the work that I do really impact on other people in the world is watching. What touched you most about what was said by uh, the First Lady Melania Trump and also Secretary of State Mike, Mike Pompeo? Uh, what touched me most was just recognizing and acknowledging that we are doing risky work, very dangerous work, under very uh, dangerous circumstances. Because we look at the women from Syria, we look at myself even working in prison with prisoners, it's a risky work. Nobody wants to do it because prisoners are considered to be very dangerous. But I don't take them as dangerous people. I take them as people who are equal to me, just like any other woman. And also, we are going into International Women's Day on Sunday. What's your message? My message uh, on International Women's Day is that women should rise above the occasion. Women should be economically empowered so that they don't commit petty crimes and we should, they should uh, have a policy, the government should have a policy on strict gender-based violence uh, to keep gender-based violence. Because most of the women that you see in prison, some have committed heinous crimes like murder itself, uh, marvelous. They've killed their spouses. This is inter, uh, uh, intimate uh, uh, violence that should be kept through very strict uh, conditions because women should also be empowered to go and report uh, because that is what leads to crimes of passion. Mm -hmm. And uh, just to wrap up, how long have you been doing this work for you now to get this recognition in 2020? Uh, as an activist, as a human rights defender, I started doing this work in 1983. As Female Prisoner Support Trust, I started doing this work. I founded the organization in 2011, then was registered officially in 2012 and started working in prisons in July 2012 mm -hmm. to date. Mm -hmm.